Hello and welcome. I'm going to help you surviving a difficult transition like this one without using any DLC. For example, I had a legendary king, the king died, and I had prepared also a legendary hair for the transition to be good, but both of them died, so I now I have a kid and I have a revolt in hand from this guy that is from the family. So how to destroy this revolt? He's supported by several lords and I'm going to help you fixing this kind of situation. First, I strongly recommend you press F2 and you go down one level in authority. I know that this will cause the problem that you cannot disinherit or remove titles but this will prevent any other revolt from occurring while you deal with this guy you are going to imprison him you're going to get a hook and he's not going to be able to fight against you for five years and in 10 years you are going to move up the thing and you are going to destroy this guy second you need to take note of all of these guys and you are going to find a high level guy like this one and you press the right button and you go down to Grand Basal. Grand Basal. You should use another duke, but I'm using him to show the example. And now you're going to find all the rebels in this list. The rebellion did not start yet, so I'm going to make them betray this guy by granting vassals to someone else. Okay, I just finished. I make deals with all the guys. I granted them as puzzle to some other people. They cannot rebel against you because of the feudal law. They must rebel first against their lord. So legally, they cannot join. They cannot join this guy without being in trouble with a lot of dukes. So now he's alone, and I'm going to accept his defiance. And let's go to war. He's alone now, he's going to turn down and he's saying, hey guys, take him, and he's completely alone. And as you can see, without allies, I have 7,000 and he has just 3k, so half the army. But remember, the goal here is maybe not destroy this guy yet, and you can do a white piece after a few punches, or you can capture him if you want. And then you will have a truce with this guy for a long time and you will be very powerful and can take him can, can take, get rid of him later and since i lower the taxes i mean the, the feudal, feudal authority as you can see all the revolts are going down but i recommend this one not i recommend you finish that war very quickly maybe with a white piece so you need to earn more time you need to gain time in power about five years and that's okay you can get rid of them later this is how it works of course you can do this before the war you can grant the vassals to some other some other guys before the rebellion start but i prefer for them to to go in publicly against me without army and i can get get the ring leader as an example also another good move is to grant independence to some powerful leaders you will have them family members you will have them as family allies for free so they, it's better to have lost and lost some ground but have many family members helping you and survive than losing all the territory because this guy is for the complete throne of, of Britain so i have no choice but to fight that's all on my side if you have any tips on this regard please let it down below down below thanks for watching a lot see you bye bye